round and round we go like a blood in rotation. Stuck no Roxy's here. Oh, and Cali? Mm -hmm. But she didn't know how much the mover prices was. I'm like, girl, yo, yeah, your Uber is going to be a smooth 40. Yep, wherever you go. From there to the airport. Darren, what the hell's going on over there? He doing. Oh. Did you swear it was like, bro, are you, are you talking to us or are you on the phone? I know. Yeah. I was like, it's too animated to be on mute. Nah, one of, one of my good friends, she was in a horrible accident and she just got cleared to get back in, like, working out in the gym and she was calling to tell me. Oh, oh no. damn. Sorry. Yeah, she got hit by a drunk driver, my nigga. That nigga drove off. How that fucking hit and run? Yeah. So. She was like, I'm clear to go back in the gym, but I'm scared. I was like, well, shit. I don't know what to tell you. You just got to start. This ain't a dude's game. Hey, get to it. Hey, get to it. Did you need to get out? Cleared... <laughs> the the doctor, doctor... Yeah, the doctor done cleared you. You got to get to it now. Ain't no excuse. Yeah, she was out for like. I'm going to brush my hair. <laughs> OK, talk to honest. I look retarded. Oh, she's checking into her room right now. Good old racks. Good old Raxy. Are you and Roxy, Roxy each other now that she's here? Huh? Are you and Roxy gonna see each other now that she's here? Y'all gonna hang out? Sure, <laughs> I guess. Why? Why you say it like that? <laughs> Why did you say it like Why'd that? Why'd you ask it like that? Yeah. I, you got close? Are you and Roxy gonna ask like that? <laughs> All right. She always gets like that, though. She always gets <laughs> real close. Like, wait right, so we like, gonna see each other. Hey, Will, are you and Roxy gonna? Yeah. Be like, gonna what? What? Out. Try to throw <laughs> each other down the stairs? Probably, yeah. Yeah, that's exactly what we're gonna try to do. Everybody about to argue with Roxy all goddamn night. Hell no. Nah. Y'all be arguing? Y'all kill me. Try to put me you in know, a school. I'm, I'm, I'm talking about cold. Roxy will argue. Anybody? Can you imagine being the nigga that's fucking her? Oh my right. god, bro! It's gonna be a challenge every day. She is with the shit. I said, sock me in the face, nigga. Like <laughs> you can keep saying it, and I'm not gonna do it. <laughs> Baby, I don't want to. Are you, you know, a bitch? I want to know like what her kinks are. So I know that is gonna be out of control. Cause she be she asked for it, and I'm like, you keep saying it. I sock you for real, though. You gonna be mad. I know she's not into spit play. I saw that on her uh, Twitch. They asked about spit, and she was like, oh, no. What the hell? Yeah, niggas be wanting to hop right. straight loose. That was one of my questions, too, on my thing. How you feel about spit? What is wrong with people? No, it's a pandemic. Um, I, just, I just wrote a check. I just wrote a whole joke about that. How the pandemic got to fucked up. You got to have sex with a mask on. Bam. No, that's a problem. Someone comes to me with a fucking mask on. <laughs> I'm like, you know what? I don't even want it no more. Yeah, yo, I was just going to say that. Like, you know what? You could keep it. You like, hear me out, though. Hear me out before. Hey, hey no, he like this, though. But wait, but wait, but listen, for real. Though. No, knock it till you try. <laughs> no. I can still eat it like the best of them with this on. Just give me a chance. Uh, no, not a dental dam. Hey, I'm hey, on the real, I ain't gonna lie. Uh, a I chick did try that shit. She was like, I got some plastic wrap. I was like, bro, I have never, not once, used that shit. I didn't, we, we, just didn't didn't do it. we just didn't do never it. We just didn't do it. I was not like, once. nah. Never I, I'm not like, nah. Once. Never, not once have I used that shit. Nah. Never. Never. Not once. Not once. Mm. <laughs> Fucked you up. Fucked you up with that one. Yeah. You using y'all like using y'all using plastic wrap from the kitchen to get eight? Plastic wrap. Well, that's what dental dam looks like. It, it do yeah, no saran wrap. Like, I mean, hell. And that shit don't break. <laughs> I don't know. I never used them actually. I feel like I'm a way too aggressive eater to be damn. <laughs> Let me get the little too intense. I just did this like with the with my finger on the plastic wrap. I was like, oh no, my tongue, my tongue gonna break this. Never mind. <laughs> this ain't gonna work. This is like, this gonna come right off. Right. <laughs> I was like, 
My tongue is way stronger than what I'm pushing right now on this plastic wrap. Oh, <laughs> you might as well not worry about this. Not you might as well not worry. Mm -mm. How how does it handle shoulder work with you moving around? <laughs> how does it handle? Does it slip off? Let's just put this back. I need to watch one. I'm gonna watch a porn or something with a dental dam. She said she's gonna watch a porn with a dental dam. With a dental dam. If you go watch porn, don't go watch porn right? for that. I'm like, well, where they no, use that at? I just want to see how it goes. Don't, like, nobody, don't nobody want to watch sex protected? I'm gonna watch it. Let me fix my boots. There you are. Oh, okay. <laughs> 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 Had to adjust them. You know it. Just like that episode where Vonna got up and she was in them underwear. Everybody was like, right? <laughs> I was not in my underwear. But that's right. Well, you was it. You was in straight Ithaca draws. You she was. You was. <laughs> the whole the whole party stopped and was like, <laughs> everybody was like, <laughs> even Roxy was like, I'm, even Roxy, nice Roxy was ass. Like, okay. It was like, okay. I guess you have to go check on the plant or something. <laughs> I'd be too high. I'm sorry. I missed it. I was stuck. It's probably looking away. <laughs> I, don't, I don't think you were there for that, though. I don't think uh, you were there for that one. That's why. If, if not, she was talking to whoever's on this side of her camera. Whoever's right, right here, that's her go-to <laughs> person. Can you, can you please pass the This is where I, I feel like the inspiration is going to come from. There's a window right here. <laughs> I look out the window. <laughs> <laughs> Again, we don't know what's over there, so we just yeah, well, I look out the window and I hope for the best. Like, right, okay, it'd be, <laughs> bruh, it'd be her turn, bro. She'd be like, Yeah, because I need it to come to me. Where you at? Like, she about to start a RB video. Yes, they even hear the sounds of rain. DZ did the same thing. <laughs> DZ's <Deezy's> outside. <laughs> we got that. You, however, oh, whatever, just be <laughs> hey. Every time you're doing this episode, I'll be like, ba -da -dum -dum -dum. <laughs> Boom. Boom. Every Boom. now and then I get a little too high <laughs> when I'm smoking on the shit. That's what you're going to start doing. Yes, bro. Every time. Roxy, hurry the fuck up. Right? How does the hotel how room? How does summer rain start? Sorry. <laughs> 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 Okay, that's my last one. I'm sorry. All right. We're going to leave your window. We're going to leave your hopeless window. Alone. <laughs> that's Come, on, that's Come on, be it rock. Come on, be it rock. I'm for my, my blue ball. I'm, I'm sorry I'm so loud, but I'm just going to set this here. I hope it don't press no buttons. Oh, your mic. Oh. Mm -hmm. I heard blue balls, and I was like, who you oh, getting blue like, I know, so I was like, all right, never mind. Bad choice of words. I mean, you know oh, right. you give it. You give it blue balls, that's on you and the God you serve. No judgment here. Nah, we too old for that now. Mm -mm. That's what I need. That. I need hot. What juvenile? What juvenile say? Let's say I'm in a real with a bitch and a hold on with a fuck like a man. I'ma beat my meat and get my fucking nut for sure. Then I'ma go in and I'ma cut the TV off and go to sleep on that hoe and then not tell that to your boyfriend. No, they tell that to your best friend. You tell her everything else. She gonna be with her boyfriend. You gonna be by your damn self. God, they're, they're so off the chain. Hot boys didn't give no fucks. That was no Juvenile. Fuck. Juvenile said that. I'm going to get my fucking nut and then I'm going to cut the TV go to sleep on that. <laughs> that nigga gave no Did Roxy just start a live video? Bro, go on there talking shit. Yeah. Let's all get on there and be like, Roxy, get your get your ass off that. Hold on, do she, is she like in some shit? Wait a minute. Something might happen with her uh, hotel. Hold on. Yeah, she's live. What's up, y'all? I know y'all waiting on me. I'm waiting to check. I know y'all waiting on me. I'm waiting to check. I know you see us. No, I'm waiting to check. <laughs> there was a, uh, there was a fight up in there. Yeah, I get my text. 
there. Where the fuck is she saying that they fighting in the lobby? They fight in the lobby. Yeah, to his ghetto there. Where? She that look like she like. She looked like she in Hollywood. <laughs> But the fact that she's talking, but the fact that she's talking with her drink, with her hair hanging like this, like. <laughs> so you get on, you get on live, but you ain't gonna come get on Zoom. Tell her to take that mask off. Where's she talking to us like this? She better join the damn Zoom from this little corner where she's squatting on. <laughs> okay. <laughs> We're gonna be checking into her hotel with her on Zoom. What we, game are we playing anyway? We some real, we some real live bullies. <laughs> we are. Uh -huh. We straight trolling right now. Bam. This nigga can just get on. Oh, it's paused. All right, where's my weed at? I, I didn't roll the blood anyway. If y'all don't hear from me. What? Y'all gonna do it from outside? I look terrible. Yeah, bitch. <laughs> do it from outside. Yes, you. This is real life. <laughs> yes, this is real life. <laughs> right. Like, come explain what you just said on right. here to us. He's <laughs> like, hey Bro. guys, I'm not in my hotel because there was a fight breaking out. Yes, but right. you know we see you, right? He's not being shit. But she need to go show the fight. Right. She that's what you fight on live when she knew what was good for. Her. Right. That's she what you should have done. Be like, you know what? We'll wait. I ain't even got the link after I got. Damn. Right all now. right. We we showing nuts. All right. Hold on. Wait a minute. Hold on. Wait a minute. He's I got no she didn't Never get the mind. link. Got nothing to do. Never mind. I ain't got nothing that big. I shouldn't have did that. Let me oh, show like that small. Wait, oh, you hear me? You real close. Huh? Uh, she said she didn't get the link. She was like, I didn't even get the link after I got yeah, it. Yeah, damn why she was here. How she didn't get the link? Oh, but how's she on? Oh, no, I got the link. I got oh, the link. No. I just seen it. <laughs> I was like, how y'all gonna yell at me? It ain't even no link in here. We're not gonna be talking to you from, uh, yo, dang. Yeah, they, yo, they, your damn they, dang. They, they fighting in there, bro. <laughs> Are they fighting, fighting? Let's see yeah. it. Let's see it. <laughs> Man, go uh -uh. Where else are this? Go report. Oh, come here. <laughs> Y'all not got warrants. Oh, no. Stay oh, away. I didn't know that. Stay yeah. away. You I'm sound like, like you finna sock somebody out. What the hell? I, <laughs> I was like, why is it so? It's not How even. How long a, are you out there for? Four days. Are you in Hollywood? Yeah, I'm downtown. Oh, oh you're downtown LA. Wait, show 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 where you at. I I may, I might know exactly where you at too. Probably Down the street right from you. Down. Turn it the other way. She had the Turn Hilton the other chapter. way. She had the Hilton. Oh. What's the Oh boy. <laughs> <laughs> I don't even know where that shit was. Turn like, it to no, the left, Roxy. <laughs> I don't know she what just... the street is. But anyway, I want to see the fight. You see uh -uh. all the faces. <laughs> huh? <laughs> so I'm trying to, I'm oh. trying to wait. So yeah, my bag's just in the front. <laughs> wait, you left your bag? All in front of your bag? No, I, they, no, no, no. It was, I put it like behind the desk. <laughs> Girl. You don't your shit. That's what you letting us know. You uh, I'm like, no. Nah. I want to see the fight. Well, they break it's it's it was being broked it up when I went outside. Wait, y'all see the hotel? Being broked it. Being what? Say that one more broke. time. It's okay. See the it's okay. Broke see the laws. Did. See the laws. See the laws. <laughs> oh, you co-signing that? Talk around is broke did it up. Broke it. We know what we know what she mean. It's okay. Y'all yeah, I mean, know what I meant. How was your flight? Did you fly Southwest? No, nah, uh, American Airlines. It went bad. Uh, at least it was Spirit. I had been doing Spirit. Yeah. Y'all really about to have my brows look terrible. Damn, that should have been have a me. never have I ever. Yeah. <laughs> never have I ever flown spirit. Yeah, yeah, so never have have ever. Face. Oh, face. Yeah, see, hey, they was, they was arguing, but they right. wasn't in the fight. This don't look like a, a good fight because ain't no police outside. Yeah, it, it is one. 
No, I saw the Corolla. Nigga, he parked two Way cars. Way down there. <laughs> Stop that. He ain't even there for that. He fucking somebody that ain't his wife. You gotta go check in. I know damn fight they like. How does that fight interfere with you checking in? Cause they was in the lobby. <laughs> Cause she got scared. She scared. Of <laughs> let me, Girl, let me I go check outside. in around that fight. Yo, uh uh-uh. uh. The warrants. <laughs> oh, is that the police that are here? Uh uh-uh. uh. That's outside my house. Right. <laughs> <laughs> I'm trying to go live so people know where I am and I get reprimanded. But no, I really didn't know I had the link either. It's too much going on. We was nerd. We were scared for you, girl. Oh, it's so much going on. Welcome to LA. You good? <laughs> no, for real. Literally, that is your welcome. Yep. To LA. I be coming out here all the time with pre Rona and it don't never be nah, unnecessarily yep. wild. Nah, one time I was robbed. I called the police. I got a fucking what? business signal. Nuh-uh. Yes, I was put on hold. Ah! Uh, Nuh-uh. Out of here in LA? They did oh, not yeah. give a fuck. Oh, I'm please. done. No, I'm not calling from no white neighborhood. You, you can hold, girl. You can hold. Wow. I was on Sunset. I was in front of Bossa Nova. They was like this. You said robbed you on Sunset in front of Bossa Nova. Yup. Bro. What? I they said, was like, he's in this place to rob somebody. What you talking about? But that's Cali. And then I was calling the police and it was fucking busy. I'm about to say, but it's bossing up on Sunset. If anything, the police will be rolling the fuck no, up in they four minutes. Fuck, they had me on hold. And that's then at one point, the uh, dispatcher and the operator person or whoever the fuck, they arguing with each other on the line. I know you lying. Thank God I'm not bleeding to death. I would have died right there. They didn't give a shit. They didn't even Did ask put, me if anybody what? was hurt. Did you put your white voice on? I think so. I don't know. I was scared. <laughs> all right, all right, all right. All right. Everybody, everybody close their eyes and turn away from the camera. Uh-huh. Talk, use your white voice real quick, Token Hannes. Let, let's see. <laughs> hold on, hold on, hold on. Let me ask my blunt. And go ahead. I need somebody to say hello. Hello. Uh, hello. One, what's your emergency? Oh my God. So I was <laughs> Hang up. Hang up. Immediately. Please hold. Nope. Please hold. I'm like, this is not I a white. Either either she's black or she fucks with black people. Nope. Yep. As soon Can't as you it. as soon as you came out, like, nope, on hold. What was I supposed to say? That was pretty even, good. You weren't even well, paying. Well, Roxy, you part of the get your ass back on this camera. I was like, where's your face, Roxy? Oh, I know y'all couldn't see. I was. What I the was... fuck was I supposed to say? <laughs> Dolly G Wiz and shit. Yeah. Like, oh my fuck? God. Okay. Hi. I'm so sorry. Oh, I'm yep. calling you because get your okay. there's. Yeah. You got it. You got to hype. Hey, it. hey, hey. Hold on one second. Here we go. Everybody, turn okay. to the side. We're gonna let Rock be the white girl. Here we go. Okay, Roxy, yep. ready? ready? Go. Okay. Oh my God. Oh my God. Hello. Hello. Yes. Okay. My name, my name's Melissa and I'm calling because there, I, I just got robbed. I had all my stuff in my hand and I don't know what happened. The I just police was is on their way. <laughs> They're on oh the way. God. Oh my God. They took, they took my the way you said Melissa? Ma'am, ma'am, <laughs> calm down. Ma'am, calm down. Oh my ma'am, God. Oh my God. Ma'am, oh my God. Oh my God. They ma'am, took my dog. Ma'am, 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 you have to let us know where you are. Please calm I down. I don't you know. Have... I don't know. It's can, you describe, can you describe yeah. what's around you? Okay. There are a lot of black people. Somebody took my dog. I don't know. Just please help. Oh, oh my God. <laughs> hey, double up. It's black people and the dog. Let's go. We need we need about 37 uh squad units to go on heading out. Uh, he took, where, okay. where you, he took my dog. Where are you located? Be advised there is a terrorist kidnapping uh, for dogs. <laughs> oh awesome. shit. Oh, See that's how funny, man. Funny. Y'all funny, bro. Don't ever let nobody <laughs> say that y'all not funny. Y'all are hilarious. <laughs> That means a lot. That means more. She said, that. "Hi, this is Melissa." <laughs> as soon as she said that, she was in. Put that inflection uh, on Melissa. I was like, "I'm yeah, Melissa." Uh, and, uh, so you didn't even give a name. You didn't even give a name first, Sokahan. She was like, "I've been robbed. Please hold." Yeah, and that's exactly how it was. Like, see, okay, you you didn't you didn't seem in danger. You gotta yeah, say Melissa. Fuck Melissa. Oh my god. Right. I get. But I get my robbed. dog. I get robbed. I ain't calling the cops. I'm calling my cousin. That's how you do it. I done been robbed. Yo, yo, big dog. They done got me, bro. Call the boys. All right. Uh-oh. I lost sound. I can't hear you, Will. I, I can't hear nobody. Will, I see your mouth moving. Oh, shit. Okay, hold on. 
Not you, Roxy. No. <laughs> Roxy said, okay. oh, say, hold on. Like, she go fix it from her end. <laughs> I'm, I'm about to go check in. Uh, Miss B, did you no, take did a you ball of wine to the head? What uh, is happening? Yeah, because um, I didn't feel like washing another glass. Said, fuck the glass. Why? Thank you. <laughs> no, we can't hear you. <laughs> I'm going to unmute you. Wait, wait. Like I got control. Yo, can y'all hear me? Yep. Hey, it worked though, Darren. <laughs> Man, listen, y'all should join me at the shooting range when I shoot this computer up. Hey. You can shoot, Will? <coughs> I've been looking for somebody to shoot with. See, while here when you talk about guns, niggas clam up. So I'm like, I I'll... I know how to shoot and uh, shoot uh, archery. Fuck it up then. Let's shoot together. I'm for real. If I could travel with my guns, I would come shoot with y'all. You can travel with your gun. Eh, as a black man, I don't risk it. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I'm gonna go, right, to the go to the range too, and like that, sir. Will you please hand me the gun? Okay. <laughs> sir, would That'd you please the load the bullets on <laughs> right. camera for me? Will you please insert the clip into it on camera? I'm now taking the gun from you to practice at the range, sir. Would you like to take your gloves off? I would not. Thank you. <laughs> Thanks. Okay, go ahead, Miss uh, Purple and White. We're gonna get. We're gonna, I ain't know if there's dinosaurs or not, so I ain't. Wanna uh, I'm okay. you is, wait, is this the lit love thing, or we just just blood opinions? I still waiting on you to get your ass thing. in your room. Oh, oh yeah, 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 my bad. I love y'all. I love y'all. Y'all so nice. <laughs> I would love for you to get in your room. That's <laughs> me too. I'm going. Okay. So, Let so me. you could have been with. Oh, I know exactly where well, you no, no, no. He could have been when. She just decided yeah. to sit in the lobby or, or walk out. I was out waiting. I was I waiting. Know exactly where this you were. went down the block. <laughs> yeah, you literally I'm just could have came to my house. house. Hey, let's party. Why you ain't say that, Will? Cause... We didn't know that this was going on, baby. You hopped on live. <laughs> right, you hopped on live. Like, fuck us. I was like, help. <laughs> okay, let yeah. me go check. I'm going to go check in. Did she say help from a fight? She wouldn't. Hey. Hey Rob, we're we, we gonna start and then when you get set up, just come on uh, in when you yeah. Okay, wait. Oh wait, okay, I'll stay for the setup then. Uh no, nah, you can go ahead and get, get, get <laughs> yeah. you yeah, wanna we'll put your little up. icon up and mute yourself and then come oh, back. Oh yeah, in let's do that. That way you're already on the link. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, your mic muted and your Hey bye. <laughs> okay, bye. <laughs> Did you hit up with the cricket commercial? Bye. 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 <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, hold on. Hold on. All right, go. I don't got nothing to eat. My bad, I got distracted. Um, we're gonna go in three, two. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to another edition of Blunt Opinion. I got the cannabis squad here, Ivana. Darren, Big Baby Brand, Tocahannes, and uh, Roxy is fighting in, in a riot right now. I don't know what's going on. She's she's socking people in the face with a hello. It's camera. a lot going on. It's a lot going on. It's it just a huge time. public fight. Yeah. She's with I, us. She is, so she's yeah, we with did. us um, until she finds a place to hide via her hotel room and can get on with us. But we're trying something a little bit different here. Uh, we are rotating squad, cannabis squad members out. Groups of, uh, of folks will be starting to come on Blunt Opinion now, so y'all can check it out with different folks coming very soon. But this edition of Blunt Opinion, we wanted to talk about love. So welcome to the Lit Love segment. Now, the way this is going to go, we have scoured our fans, uh, asking them questions about relationships, uh, sex, um, WWE intros, whatever it is that is picking a fancy and they have submitted their questions. Darren Brand has the questions for us, so he is going to be the person that is giving these out to us. So um, how do y'all feel, though, about being giving out this advice for lit love, hopefully bridging this gap between men and women? I feel uh, so we'll I'm excited. I have a lot to say. Yeah, I know. think it's a good opportunity. Yes, sir. I feel like this is a very, I feel like this is a very honest group, and we're gonna give people the real. 
Rashi, I agree with everything this? y'all said. I'm still checking in. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So, uh, Darren, I know you had the questions. Why don't you hit us with the uh, first one? Let's go ahead and get this ball. All right. I'm not going to say their name because, you know, people, uh, you know, I'm, I'm going to protect some of these people because we don't know if they're in entanglements or not. Mm-hmm. Okay. None of our business, but we are here to advise. Question number one, the sex conversing throughout the day and playing with your hair equates to a relationship. No. 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 Y'all what? niggas is not together. <laughs> you, you good, Miss B? Right? Yes, <laughs> y'all niggas is not together. <laughs> well, you was about to elaborate a little bit more on that. Like, you right, had... I thought there was more to it. Oh, I mean, well, okay. No, comma, because um, it's just affection, but you have to also like establish those things verbally because we're what? Grown. And so if you want to be my man, you have to, you know, establish that bond with me. Like, we got to talk about that shit. Ain't no conversation happened, obviously. Just because you're playing my hair don't mean we go together. But it's, it's playing in your hair, it's, it's playing in your hair an act of like, of caring or showing display of affection? Yeah, that's affection. That's a, yeah, that's a public intimate. display of affection or private. It's not sex though. It don't mean y'all go but together. She, but she said, she said, she said, she said, she said sex and conversing throughout the day. So I'm assuming that's good morning text. Let's grab lunch. How's your day? That's listening to her whole entire day, or however she want to explain it, and also playing in your hair. That doesn't that doesn't, that doesn't equate to nothing. Also, so it's not, it's not that it doesn't equate to nothing. But what was the end of the question? It, are they in a relationship, or what was her yeah. question? Yeah, because I, I, I think what we heard was sex and playing with her hair. Like that was yeah. the only. So two. that's intimacy, yeah. right? It's so she said right. the sex. The sex conversing throughout the day and playing with your hair equate to a relationship. That's the first part we miss, conversing throughout the day. Those are all relationship qualities. Nah, without, not if, not if you ain't had the conversation. But that's not all of it, though. That's like the bare minimum. Right. Man, if you ain't had the conversation that we go together. That you're not together. Y'all not together. Exactly. No matter how much you talk, no matter how much time you didn't invest in this, how much you play with someone's hair, or how much y'all have sex, it has to be. It has to. It has to be discussed, talked about. Yeah, we gotta communicate. Now, now, who who assumes one's in a relationship more, ladies or the the woman? Usually, the woman, because usually the woman will equate sex to love. And that's why this other that first girl thought that they was in love just because someone plays with her hair after they fuck. Mm. I got real. Hey, but let me, dang it. <laughs> Not all women. I'm all trying to, I'm still in the lobby. Man. Shut the fuck girl, up. Right, <laughs> open your here. camera so we can see the fight. If you in a lobby, then we need to see the fight. Otherwise, no, the, no, no, the fight. The fight's over now. I was just about to. Now I was just waiting because somebody's in front of me. I'm going to answer the question really quickly. I'll chime in. Answer it, show yourself. (laughs) Hold on. I find that a lot of men out here will uh, play relationship just so they can get some some pussy, which is stupid because we grown. But I agree with what y'all said. Like, if it's not, it has to be fully established and communicated for you to be in a relationship, even if they're playing relationship until they're like, yes. We're exclusive or we're poly or whatever you're in. If the word's not said, then y'all not together. To be fair, though, a lot of women as well will say that they cool with the situation that they've right. talked about. To yeah. Be which is, which is so right. stupid. Which is wrong because so you're great. lying to yourself when you know you right. want more. You just know this man's not yeah. going to give you more and you're afraid to say yeah, that. Let me go check it. Right. So let's just, let's just say even if you know... And, and and me being as a, you know, I've, I've lived, I've done a lot of things. So you can kind of pinpoint from the beginning, like whether this is going to work or not, right? You can tell, like, and as an adult, I think you have the right to see if you really want to put up with another person if you don't want to. You have that right. If, you're the, if you don't have any children together or you're not married, you have that right. There is no, there is no tie to boyfriend and girlfriend. Either you're going to try to make it work or you're not. You know what I'm saying? And yeah. I feel like I feel like a, I feel like don't get it twisted now. Dudes will do that shit too. Dudes yeah. will claim a chick 
from getting a number. Like who yeah. the like say say yo, me and Will yo, like the same chick. Yo, who fam, that's oh, me. Got a number. That's me. That's me. That's me. That's me, that's me right there. You know what I'm saying? So dudes, dudes do it too. And I'm a I'll be honest and say, you know, fellas may act this certain way on the internet and public eye, but behind closed doors, men are some of the softest niggas with their ladies. You know yeah, what I'm saying? Men are it's like, so soft and sensitive. It's 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 when you can really be because you know, as a black man, you really do carry a lot of weight from a lot of stuff, you know what I'm saying? Just like a black woman. But when you can finally let all that shit go, niggas are soft as hell when it comes to that girl. And baby, can you hold me? Can you hold me tonight? Niggas <laughs> soft as hell. I wanna be the I wanna be the small the little spoon. I was yo, I was just thinking about that. The little spoon, yes. Can I be the little spoon tonight? And do not admit how much they love to be the little spoon. But, but but see, not not that. I ain't gonna say all that. But <laughs> yeah, I think, no, I yeah. Think, ain't giving that big damn option. We too big think, for a goddamn little spoon. I think men yeah, should fun. glorify more often how much like they they love like women. You know what I'm saying? Like like Will, you can you can answer this. Like when you date a chick, you know what I'm saying? Say y'all talking. After a while, you like man, she corny as hell. But that corny as hell turns into I love I love that about her. Even though it gets on your nerves. One of the biggest things that I know if I like a girl and she like me, we start using each other's expressions. Like every like any kind of phrases Ooh, that, that use, part, yes. We start picking it up. Another thing too, like a, a lot of men don't like to uh, uh admit, but I will admit I like going shopping with my chick and she tries shit on. I love that yeah. shit. Thank you for yeah. admitting that. Right. I feel like some men actually really love that shit. Y'all get to sit down somewhere, her purse right there next to you, and she can try on all these clothes for you. Like, that's cute. You're like, yeah, I don't think you should wear that. Now that one, though, yeah. I got to smack the butt in every outfit to see how it's shaped. That's how to tell right. which one we're going to rock. <laughs> right now, how fast can I get this off? No, I'm and, and I'm going and and to be honest to the ladies out here. If you're dealing with a dude and he can't keep his hands he can't keep his hands off of you. Like, like I'm talking about in a positive way. That nigga loves you. Like when a black man loves you, bro, he will he will literally touch you for no reason. Whether it's like in the bed sleeping, if it's ankle to ankle, leg to leg, some re- like you walk past, he's not gonna miss the opportunity to smack your butt. Just cause that's that's when we're really in love like that, my nigga. We're that's why I hate when people try to act like Oh yeah, I'm down with threesome. You ain't trying to share. You're not trying to share no pussy that you really in love with with nobody. I guarantee you, nobody. Us, us as men, we just want to try that shit one time, and it ain't even got to be with you. Like I mean, one time in life, and after that, you be like, I'm good off of this. So yes. like anybody else that just is like, yo, we spicing things up and we doing this. That's cool. That's fine. Me, I'm too fucking creative for that. I don't. I don't need all of that shit. I got a lot of shit we can be doing for the next seventy years. Not the next I, 70. Yo. I have a I have a question. Another one. Bitch, we're about to be on ceiling fans. How do you get over someone cheating? And if it's worth staying and forgiving? Mm. Here's the thing. The last part, I didn't hear that. Deter- and determine and how you determine if it's worth staying and forgiving. <coughs> staying it's and not. forgiving because you can't just stay. You gotta stay and forgive. Here's the thing. You can forgive, but if I'm just going to be cold honest, you're never going to forget. That's right. the part you got to get over. Can Can't I be you? honest, though? What, like Jenna said it in the song, once the trust is gone, you can never get it back. That's it. No matter how much you, you can say you can forgive and people make mistakes and all that, but once that piece of trust is gone, and, you know, because... It'll never it, be the same. Yeah, what It'll never be the same. same. But that's the thing, right? That's the thing, right there, though. It's now you are now two different people. Right. Normally, like if she, unfortunately, if she's the person that was cheated on, she's turned to a different person. You've now turned to a different person. Mm -hmm. You have to see can those two people still get along, even though you are the cause of her pain and your own pain. Oh, yeah. I feel like you also have to, you, you learn, you have to learn to forgive them. You also have to learn to forgive yourself because you go through a lot of like guilt or whatever it is. Like, how come I didn't see it? Why didn't I know? And you know how hindsight is always twenty twenty. So now everything starts making sense. And uh, so, yeah, that's hard too. You can't really stay with someone when you have now resentment towards them because now you're pissed yeah. at yourself. You're pissed preach, at preacher. 
Yeah, I've been there. Shut up, Rock. <laughs> uh, word. The best thing I would say is to um, keep yourself distracted. Uh, and like, it's hard when people tell you this because it sounds cliche as fuck, but they be like, oh, do what you want to do. Do what makes you happy now. It's your time now. But it's like, well, what the fuck do I really like to do, I guess? I mean, so I don't know, y'all. I, I feel like every experience is, where, is for your growth, right? I think also yeah. what, you have to, what people have to think about too is like, okay, so if you want to go back to that person, just understand the relationship, you're going to have disagreements, you're going to have arguments, are you going to be able to not throw it in this nigga's face that he's been cheating on you? Yeah, he cheated on you before. Because yeah. if you forgive it, then you can't keep bringing up. Yeah. I don't want to say keep bringing up old mm-hmm. stuff, but like the the wound and the hurt ain't going to be old. That's still going to be but new. It, but it, it, goes, it, goes, it, goes, it, goes, it goes both ways for niggas too, because don't, don't get it twisted. If a nigga get hurt and he got something he can ride on for a little bit, he might ride on that for a little bit. Exactly. No, no, no. Don't keep trying to bring it up. Don't keep trying to bring it up in an argument. But then that one time you cheat on me when you got the nigga number, you did it. Women will, yeah, women too. If they're comfortable, they'll stay. True. Yep. Yeah. I've seen someone stay for, for five years. I've seen a couple women stay in relationships or situationships when they didn't need to. Shouldn't yep. I have, I, have, I have a question for the ladies. This is just me personal. Personal. If, since women, intu- I'm going to be honest, women intuition is very real. Like, God don't really give us time. He really don't. Like, we really be going in blind. You know what I'm saying? We could be pussy whip, as they say, or whatever, but he literally gives y'all signs to let y'all know that the guy you're dealing with ain't shit. Right? Before you even get in too deep, mm. why do you ignore it? Mm. Why do most women ignore that? Because we're fueled by emotion or passion. I feel like we ignore them signs. The same reason why some guys ignore red flags too. Yeah, I wouldn't say most women because I don't think all women date men, but I definitely think that- um, You know what I mean. Not a this. lot of women, a lot of women do that <laughs> because they just tend to overlook it. You know, it's, and maybe if, even if they maybe, cause I'm the type of woman like I, you know, would bring it up to him. Like, you know, I just want to holler at you real quick when you said this, that, and the third. It didn't make me feel good. It made me uncomfortable. <clears throat> Some women have a conversation with a man and then they apologize, talk it over. And then your expectation is that this nigga ain't going to do the shit again. But if he does the shit again, then you need to reevaluate, maybe leave, shit like that. So, mm. That's all I can think of. But, but now here, here's the question. So now let's say, as he said, like, oh, uh, shit, man. Move with these red flags. Not, why is Roxy on here twice? <laughs> Roxy. My thing, my thing tripping. Hold on one second. <laughs> my thing. Are you checked in? <laughs> I guess that's no. Hold on. <laughs> my rock. It's like, how do you get two of them then? Like, if you're like, what are you doing? Roxy gets called in. She probably called in and then did the app. <laughs> <laughs> Not called in. Like the radio. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah, that's what it is. Mm. Uh, um, but no. So what I, I the question is, yes. if you had, if like what he just said, them signs. I've ignored a sign. I've but, ignored- but let's say that continues, and it had been a couple years. Now it's the whole y'all done broke up, and he the no shit ass nigga, and now you in that mode. My question would be, at what point do you take responsibility for Woo. not catching those flags Woo. and ignoring them? At what point do you take responsibility for not catching those flags? Like, like, what do you be like? Right? Thank you for the face of my word. Because I'm like, I don't know if she even wants to answer this. <laughs> what type of mansplaining ass question was that? What? Um, I, I mean. So, so let me, okay, hold on. Let's, let's rewind this then. You just said that in the beginning, you ignored those signs, correct? Right. So let's say again, you continue ignoring them signs for the, let's say a two, three year relationship, and now you're at the end of it, 
And when a woman's fed up, isn't that uh-huh. a thing? Like, yo, when she's done, she's done. So I feel like there's no time where you're like, oh, I'm going to all take responsibility for the past. I'm not taking responsibility for shit. That was his, his moves. I'm going to take responsibility for now and move accordingly. Right. You can't, you can't beat yourself up over shit that you ignored three years ago, four or five, whatever years ago. That doesn't but, mean- but we're not saying beat yourself up, but you can't say, yeah, that's my fault. I stayed too long, right? Of course. So I think for women, basically, what, what I would say is, I mean, even if you, you know, realize it years down the road or whatever, you can absolutely hold yourself accountable if need be to say that you weren't true to yourself or something like maybe I passed this up just in the name of love whatever my heart felt this way blah 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 but um men will also manipulate and coerce women to feel like they are a safe place and feel like this relationship is working or everything's okay or we can make it through this we can make it past that and so if a woman <laughs> believes it it's just like what you can do after that is like hold yourself accountable because you definitely believe this manipulation or whatever the fuck and then you just move on. Why is that funny? Why are you laughing? Yeah, I'm like, why I'm not, is that funny? Like, you, like, know, you don't know that. No, I do know that. That's why I'm laughing, because y'all being real about it. Like, like, I mean, you know, I've been a toxic nigga before. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. I went to, co- I went to college. I've, I've made ladies believe before. You know what I'm saying? Mm-mm-mm. But it, it just, it's just... <laughs> Hold on, hold on, hold on, now, hold on. Now let's let's hold, let's, on, let's, hold, let's, hold on, hold on, hold on. It, but it's just don't be saying, you know, I've grown. You know what I'm saying? It's dope that I don't have to, I don't have to use that, rely on that. I'm in a different space now. I mean, I'm I'm a different man. Like it's it's, it's dope to hear y'all say that because I can laugh because that was me. Like you know what I'm saying? Who the fuck gonna take relationships serious in college? Like ain't no way in the world you can think it just me and you. Like there's no way you can think that in college. You know what I'm saying? But I, but I, that part too, because people used to be like, Have you ever cheated before? And I'd be like, Nigga, yes. And they'd be like, Well, why were you cheating? I'm like, It was high school or it's college. Like, you couldn't have really possibly thought I wasn't going to cheat on you in college. Right. Yeah. Yeah, but see, y'all can openly admit this. Do you know how many like women don't openly admit We'll never admit that. Do you know how many married women be in my DMs? And I just be like, Ma'am. You're married. Ooh, married yeah. men be in my shit too. I yeah. get it. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. I mean, but do your thing, but I just feel like, I just feel like I do want to get married one day. And once I get married, that whole, that whole DM and comment on so much, that shit to me, I feel like is, even though I'm in the industry, has to stop or like be completely 100%, 100% respectful. You know what I'm saying? I would never DM a chick if I was married what I would, you know what I'm saying? What I would DM now, you know what I'm saying? I would never do that, never. That's just traceable. It's and traceable. That's why, ending. that's why niggas be arguing. Y'all, and, men, and, and, men, men cheat so messy too. I was just having this conversation with somebody else. I was like, you know, oh, my friend, my guy friend. I was like, also y'all niggas don't know how to cheat. Y'all are so fucking messy. Uh, see, here's the thing too. We don't have a good publicist because y'all have done a real great job of making us the, the as the no shit nigga is in every front cover of a magazine, but we don't never talk about these scallywag women out here who be dangling chances at love to get a lunch bay, a fucking work husband, a Maserati, <coughs> all of this shit, but they just be like, but well, you can't, you you can't come that you didn't know off top that you knew that's what it was though. Just like you didn't know off top that nigga wasn't a no shit nigga. So that's what I'm, so, so did you not know that? That's what I'm saying. I'm saying, but did you not know that? So no. But so are you also? Are you saying that you? Are you saying that women are manipulative? Manipulative? What are you saying? Bruh, yeah. we know what that. I, that's I, a fact. I, we know that. What I what I'm saying is, just uh, as much, but just, men are too. Hello, just as much women who say niggas be in my DM. Oh, here's here's your husband and all the little memes and shit. I can say the same <laughs> shit. <laughs> hey, but I me. but I don't. <laughs> right. But I don't, you know what I'm saying? What's the point of posting that and just putting that messy shit out there? Like, she genuinely, if she had the opportunity, she probably would love me. And that's cool. But I'm not going to put up a post like, hey, man, come get y'all wives. Here she come again. You know what I'm saying? Like, and then they go going to say you a no shit nigga for that. Oh, my God. If I posted what these women, and I love it, but if I posted what they said me, Bro, I, would, no I would get, oh, my God. 
But but what Ooh. happens if they post it? Oh yeah, call them out, Queen. Call them out. Call them out. Let why these niggas know. The they perception be, so different. They be in my DMs too. I had a chick at a show. No lie, her husband took the picture. Her husband. She jumped on me, grabbed me, hugged me. Was like, I love you so much. He was like, Yeah, man, you're her favorite. You're her favorite, Darren. Shut up. You ain't supposed to tell me that. You ain't supposed you're to You're not tell supposed me. to straddle another You're not supposed to jump on him. Yeah. No, no, not in front of your house. Oh, did she straddle you? Oh, right. oh, oh no, 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 no. If she did this, oh, you, it's already. Oh, time. I thought she just gave you like a big hug, no, like no, wrapped herself uh, uh, around him. Uh, like I was like, huh. he was like, yeah, bro, she love you. And I'm like, my nigga, you not going to say nothing? You cool? You. Right. Nigga, you don't love yourself? That's what you letting me know? <laughs> nigga, you don't know. Oh my God, not love yourself. Yeah, man, oh my cool. God. <laughs> <laughs> yes. You don't love yourself. <laughs> God. Yeah, bro, I'm telling you, bro, I, I done had a chick at a show. You know what I'm saying? Her dude taking a picture. She she pinched my butt, right? As she taking the picture. And when she hugs me to say goodbye, she says, he works all the time. You better work, bitch. I know that's right. What? You <laughs> You bro, bro. And then you gonna smoke bro. your blood like a cigarette after you say some shit like that? Mm-hmm. Bro, I'll tell you, Darren, get you <laughs> some scallywag hunger. <laughs> they will teach you so much. I'm telling but you. I, but I just chill. I just chill. I just chill. You know what I'm saying? I just chill. I would never post, you know what I'm saying? I, I don't know. I don't know. Yeah, let me let me go back. Let me go back to the question. We was getting off. We was getting off cue. Let's go. Mm-hmm. Let me see. We got another question. Hold on. <laughs> but y'all facial reactions to that question, Sam. I appreciate that. That was a lot. Was this a is a lot. question. This is a question for each person in here. What is your ideal partner? Ooh. Did you <laughs> Why y'all making these faces? <laughs> <Shit, I'm> like, <laughs> yo. <laughs> I was going to roll my eyes and I was like, nah, let me be nice. And I looked down and she's over here like, Ugh. Oh, my God. No. <laughs> Love has, has been at a all, yeah. has never been at an all time low. Like, I'm telling y'all right now. Like, nigga, we are in the Great Depression of love right now. Like, what? Roxy says she loved this question, so she could go first. <laughs> go ahead, Rox. Oh my god. Oh, now she's now she's unavailable. Yo, yo, I, I see I see what I see nobody, I see why the comments changed. I see why the comments changed about talking about this. Oh she funny, bro. I didn't know she was funny. Uh, oh, oh, look, look, listen, Tokahata, we're gonna throw that shade right there. Yeah, 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 we're gonna throw that yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right, y'all. There we go. You can, right now. You, can take, you can take a mask off now. Yo. <laughs> oh, <yeah. laughs> I've been going through it. Hold on. What is going on? At least you're safe in your room. Amen. Hey, hey. At least you're not said, fighting no more. That's I said, at least you're safe in your room. Yeah, I'm safe. Okay, so what's my ideal? Partner, I actually have a list. I made hey, a list. Hey, but before you do that, can you go close that blind behind you so it's not? Close? Oh yeah. And and we we only gonna name like we only gonna name like four or five things. Right? Like, like hold on, she said she had she a said, list. Why don't we go Roxy? The one in the back. Oh, she about to pull out a scroll and shit. Well, no, because because all around your place too. After after uh, I was engaged two years ago, I realized that you know. I'll be settling for shit. Woo. And so all the therapy books and stuff I've been reading and the therapists I'll be talking to was like, you need to plan out what you want so that you can get it. And it's hard to plan without writing it down. You such a substitute teacher. <laughs> What'd you say? You're such, such a substitute a su- teacher. She really is. She is such a sub. Oh my God. <laughs> She does have substitute teacher energy. Yo, she's bringing out the book out. and her reading glasses. <laughs> you like you as students. Teacher today. mode engaged right now. Here like we go. Stu- students walk in like we know we're not gonna have her all year. She feels <laughs> dope though. 
Ms. Rock's going to be no for sweat. For these, next, for these next six weeks, oh, it's about to be heavy. <laughs> I can't wait to go to Miss yeah, Rock's class. They still asking me to come back and teach. I'm like, no, I hated that shit, fam. But yes, okay. So I've made a list. I'm not going to read the whole list, but Jeez. that's the whole list of the things I want Girl, in a partner. Us the top five. Hey, um, you, you better know what the fuck Top you five? Want. Talk your shit, but just the five. <laughs> put her glasses okay. on. Did I look away if she got the no. going? Yeah, yeah and I them. got 2020 vision, so I don't even need these glasses. They're just because my face looks ashy right now. Okay. Um, okay. So they, they cover up. <laughs> Y'all, y'all's faces are really funny today. Number one. Okay, understanding. Yes. I need a partner that's understanding. I feel like a lot of times uh, issues that occur is just because we don't understand each other. So that is my number one. Affection. Affectionate. I need a partner that is affectionate. I've dated a lot of men that just aren't affectionate. And I want that. And I've, I feel like I've compromised on that a lot. So I want that. Emotionally available. Oh, that was I always tend right to up. date. <laughs> <laughs> date men that just aren't emotionally available or they don't know how to communicate emotions properly. And so I don't want that shit no more. <laughs> it's, it's stressful. Like my ex fiance, like I was legit having fucking panic attacks uh, with this motherfucker. Like it was terrible, terribly toxic. And that's one of the reasons Jesse was just like very emotionally closed off. What's that? Three? Um, what's another one? It's a long ass list. Oh, oh, doesn't judge me. Does not judge me. I don't want to date anyone that I feel like is judging me or making or, you know, making me feel bad about being myself because I've also dated motherfuckers like that. Like, my well, ass got your titties out. Yeah, you ain't got your pussy on Instagram. <laughs> Mind your business, bitch. I'm trying to make bread. You, I'm trying to get this bread. Put it on Instagram. Instagram. That's why. Hey. But, but you Just won't put look. it on your OnlyFans and you want to. Exactly. Stop bringing. Why y'all bringing up old uh, shit, though? Um, I, mean, uh, I did. Oh, you weren't on here. Yeah, I had an OnlyFans, but I wasn't putting on nothing on there and people was getting mad. Like, where the titties, bitch? And I was just giving away merch and stuff. And they was like, no, bitch, we want the pussy out all the way. Play with yourself. And I was like, okay, I'll get off of here and go back to Patreon. And um, my last one, because we said five, right? Uh, what's a good one? Because this is a long ass list. Fun. That's important to me. I want somebody that's fun. I will date motherfuckers and they boring and they don't want to do stuff. Like I like to skip and play and go to the movies. And sometimes I just want to walk in the living room. So I want a person yeah, that will do those things with me. Yeah, I want to skip and play and be like, ah, baby, look, I got a sword. Let's sword fight. Why did I bring this? <laughs> Doing a music video. Yeah, why did, yeah, they, why did I they, want... they stop you in the airport with it? Hmm? Right. Ma'am, is that a sword? They did ask me though. I'm it's like, I know you didn't make it out of Houston with this fucking Right. Thing. They're like, man, I what did. are you on a quest? What are you doing? <laughs> <laughs> it's for the music ma'am, video. Ma'am, step your okay. ass over here. <laughs> <laughs> but that's what that's why I need a partner that'll be like, oh what going on? What she got a sword. <laughs> My baby got a sword. I love it. So, yes, those are my top five qualities personality-wise. I mean, you know, big dick and all that's important, too. But or knowing how to slang it, not even dick size, but knowing how to slang your penis is important. If I could just add a six on there. So, you out there. We told you, we told you, we told you five. Uh-huh. Yeah. I, that was 5.5. 5. So, 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 clearly the five is not registering right here. Is what <laughs> I do what I want. That's right. Clearly. You brought a whole sword <laughs> through customs. Uh, yeah. <laughs> for no reason at all. They was like, wow. I'm, it's for a music video. <laughs> and, then, and then immediately after that, it's just like, okay, man, just go through. Just. Right. They heard her cough and it was like, you know what? Just go. <laughs> Ma'am. Enjoy Ma'am. your flight. Have a safe yeah, flight. Right. Have a safe flight. She ain't gonna hurt nobody. Damn, enjoy. I'm, I'm not. It's just. I'm, they were talking stuff. bad shit when her shit was going through. Look at this right. motherfucking story. Y'all. What? The y'all wouldn't f- believe who came in the airport today. <laughs> this first of all, she was like five ten, titties out there. She got a sword. Child, they different these days. 
They different, uh, DK. They, not that not, different. Somebody be asked, yo, did they, did they have to uh, restrain her and put her up? Believe me, she is the safest person on that flight. Okay. Oh, oh, yeah. The bitch with the sword is the safest one on that flight. I will protect everyone and make sure they're okay. She won't, but... If she that's won't. She's so cute. <laughs> down the block from this fight. <laughs> She'll be cute. Yo, right. I was... I was not, nah, fam. I was he had the nerve to, to say the police arrived and the car is parked. <laughs> <Down the street. laughs> hey, yo, no, I was not car down mm. the street. Hey, I was yo, not y- with it. Y'all see them substitute teacher snacks? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> he still did just pull that out. Leave me the fuck alone. I just got her book and her chips. Be like, all right, everybody, uh, do the study guide in chapter 13 real quick and then we're going to go over it while she eat her damn snacks. Oh, this is damn snack. This is I came here to talk about love. All right. No, you <laughs> didn't. You came. Here, you came here to set up your lesson plan. Look at all that fucking shit. She got her book out. Nigga, yeah, in ten minutes she's gonna be like, I gotta go. I gotta go uh, host the class real quick. Roxy, what we doing on Monday? <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah, let's party. She one of the people. She one of the people that buy a book when she get on the plane to go to sleep and open that bitch on the first page. I do. <laughs> Do you fall asleep with that overhead light on? I hate when it gets. Oh God! I turn. Overhead. No, I have a I have a book light that I. She probably has <laughs> one of her glasses light. and shit, like a headband. You have a book kind of... light that you bring with you on a plane. No. I, like to dis- <laughs> <laughs> I don't like disturbing other people. I'm telling you, some I every student is passed by. Happen. And see you and be like this bitch. <laughs> <laughs> Just keep going with the cart. <laughs> like this bitch is just got through the aisle. This bitch. Holy fuck! <laughs> they yeah, like me on the plane every time. Every time. <laughs> <laughs> Just be chilling. This, this nigga put out the most plainest chips of chips. <laughs> no. I like I like classic. Nobody, Lays. nobody who smoked weed. Nobody. Lays potato chips. First and foremost, Lay's classes expire. Don't do that. Thank you. Don't They're good that. with a nice with a barbecue sandwich. Or, right. or like a, well, I don't really eat chips, though. She don't though, got a so. sandwich. She don't I know. Got a sandwich. I know. She ain't got no sandwich. Oh, got, just chips. Well, look, we well, oh, just need some fucking salt. books. Well, you just need some salt and potatoes. Yeah. That's what you just. I don't eat chips, really. So that's. Oh my god, no! My nigga, you just brought a bag out to turn the page of your book. I was the list of the dudes. Yo, if if anybody was trying to say me and Roxy was gonna get together, it she killed it with chips. That. that is... <laughs> Y'all are, everything I about you it. shows me that y'all are going to get married, like later. Come on, Will, let's get married. You just said you like those chips. Yeah, baby. You don't on. like you chips. Get right, in general. Right. I can't go my whole life just lays. I can't do that. <laughs> I don't eat snack. I mean, I be you know. You don't eat snack. You had fucking fruit gushers on this live multiple times. Well, that, yeah, that's usually I when like I get high. Gushers. But just in normal settings, I don't be eating. Sugar a lot because I don't trust my anything ADHD. you say, Rob. You have 2020 20 vision <laughs> with frames on. You just gonna say that? Hey, man, that's how I know this ain't gonna work. I'm gonna end up missing. Just like, <laughs> oh, but we we'll, we could try. I'm start a fucking charity fund to, to get rich off of my name. <laughs> of so like course, the I will. Thing. I would give you a piece of it, and this whole. Oh, look, it just got me so long. Yeah, <laughs> shut you the a, fuck up. I'll get you a piece of what? <laughs> No, not, not that. Now she gonna have me on an island somewhere. Like, just like, you can't leave. People watching. Yo, you can't name leave. Is... Don't go nowhere. I love you. She gonna do this. I don't know. <laughs> hey, I hey, she hey. gonna leave. Hey, Will, I don't know, bro. Rock might have that Badu pussy, bro. You might be out here writing melodies I feel like shit. she does. Oh, shit. Mm. You are not. Yo, finna, I'll, you I'll tell y'all finna, later. That's listen, you're not finna Andre 2000 me. I know everybody. <laughs> we out here and, carrying and swords the on your back alive, and shit. But, X, X, my X, my X, oh. Hey, we're like, Will, what you about to do? And I'm about to be playing the ukulele. I'm about to go play Zelda live. <gasps> oh, you gonna play Zelda? <laughs> gonna play Zelda? Hey, see, y'all trying to say it's that sweet. Do you go call what you doing? Standing in the corner with this switch waiting for her to get back? <laughs> Not a <laughs> so switch. She just told me stand here. I was like, can I at least sit? She's like, no. I'm like, now nah, I'm here. So Ooh, playing Pokemon Go in the park. Be like, do well, you need some That's help? That's cute. Yes. Yes, I need that. Would be well, we can make this work, baby. I, I don't know where I am anymore. <laughs> <laughs>
I understand. Get out now. That's gonna be me. It's like I whenever, look like I'm smiling, but I'm whenever you ready. We all get out. Oh my god. This look. Whenever, look at this face. Whenever you ready. This is pictures we take. You I'm can happy. see the deadness in my eyes. Just. I'd be happy. <laughs> These are all I see. These said, are I'll be happy. I don't give a fuck. Yeah, I'm good. You That's got money. Tough. That's, <laughs> tough. That's, tough. That's tough. That's tough. You're dumb, dude. She don't care what fuck at all. I'll be all right. <laughs>